I know black dudes with more talent, more ability, less resources, and it could do amazing shit, but they ain't never connect the dots. That's the self-belief part. I said I'm heavy in the hood like the lotto and liquor. I'm just spitting my motto to niggas. Cause if I ever had a problem with any out of you niggas, I could send a shot at you niggas. They talking bars and I'm top tier, top shelf, pop shelves, and niggas trying to stop my wealth. Niggas fronting like they got gear. Not here, been in the stores with bitches, and where's they not felt, but I'ma be the one to kill swag with. Cause niggas say they in their bag, I took your bag, get your bag back. Professional songwriter, ass ass cap. This ain't no mad rap, just rad raps about niggas who trap. Coming through and like doing what he say, meaning what he say, and you know what I'm saying, and believing that what he says is is worth. You know what I'm saying? I know I know black dudes with more talent, more ability, less resources, and it could do amazing shit, but they ain't never connect the dots. That's the self belief part. You know what I'm saying? They got white boys with no talent. You know what I'm saying? Not even say no talent, but less talent. And a lot of resources. A lot of shit that, they, you know what I'm saying? They can lean on, they can call, they can buy, this and that third. And they go and just keep going and get what they get what they supposed to get out of it. Whereas the niggas like us who make miracles happen on regular, we don't see the miracle. We don't even see that we actually miraculous. That we just be like, oh, this ain't nothing. And like I said, it all comes with commodif like the commodification of shit. Like, you don't see money in your shit until somebody else see money in your shit. And that's not true. If you could see the money in your shit from when you're doing it, you would have a different mindset. You know what I'm saying? If somebody come along and tell you what your shit value, that'll make you start thinking about value. Whereas, you should have saw value in the beginning. But we never see value in our own shit. Because it's not, this world is not our shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like we're doing shit outside of, in spite of, you know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why we never fully actualize. I swear, I, I think that niggas love to see other niggas get pimped. Like, think about somebody. You could have had some shit. It could have been the flyest shit in the world. And now it's going around circling. It's getting a little popular. Da, da, da. Niggas still ain't supporting you. Niggas want discount. Niggas want to, you know what I'm saying? Still. It, but once the white man tap it and be like, oh, yeah, this is my new partner. This is what we invested in. Da, da, da. That's when niggas start lining up and coming fucking... We want to buy the shit because that's the quote unquote stamp of approval. If you're thinking like that, I can't fuck with you. Like, think about all the clothing designs, the people that design shit, and then um, the big brands come and steal it. And that's when y'all niggas start paying attention to, whether it be Telfar or, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Supreme, it's the same thing. Once they get tapped, that's when y'all like, oh. And I really feel like because niggas let's see other niggas get pimped. Mm. The pimp culture. Like if I can't see you getting exploited, then I'm like, ah, I guess I guess I go fuck with him, give him his little three percent or whatever percentage he getting. You know what I'm saying? Don't make no sense. Support that man when he's doing it. If you feel it, if you feel it, if you love it, if you think it's fly, if you think it's ahead of the game, take take a take a chance. Step out. You know what I'm saying? Step out on faith. For anybody, invest in somebody. Invest in your friends. Audit your friendships too, because a lot of people know people for a long time, but they ain't never did shit for them. You know what I'm saying? You could meet somebody this week, two weeks ago, and they'll do more for you than people you know for 20 years. So what that mean about time? Time don't matter. All the your friendships, all of them. Your relationships, all of them. If they're just not feeding you, serving you, fulfilling you, making you feel full, check that shit out.